Yes, my people, it's Ash here from Casual Ballers and I'm just trying to compound greatness every single day. And I'm back here with another video and today we're looking at the Development Chamber, episode two. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Starting here with a warm up. As you guys know, man, Development Chamber, we're just always trying to help people get to go to the next level. So in this, in this topic here, it's just cut off there, but in the topic here, we've got switching playing, we've got Coach Babs. Coach Babs help, helping us go to the next level for this session. The development chamber, man. But how many times can you get in the chamber? How many times can you get in the chamber and get better? Ball movement, trying to shift opposition. Switch and play. The best times to do it, how to do it. Okay, so what we got here is we got a transitional game from box to box, and you have uh, a team in one box with one player going to press, and you have to connect a certain amount of passes before changing it to another box. It's a very simple um, switch and play uh, drill, but it's very, very effective. Especially when you're trying to get your message across. You hear Babs talking there saying don't force. It's one of the biggest parts about switch and play, knowing when to do it. And then it's about how you do it. So Junior's played a great little pass there, good weight. And a big thing a lot of people don't speak about when it comes to switching players, once you've switched the play, you then have to make the right decisions on that in that area of the pitch. So sometimes it's switch the play to go and keep it or switch the play to go and go and exploit a team down the side that is empty and doing it with quality. That's, it has to be a quality. Good tempo, good tempo here. And then the second thing, that you have to worry about when you do switch the play as well is not just the quality that you bring but you also have to be brave because whilst the ball's on one side of the pitch there's a lot of players around there including your teammates so you can sort of get you out of trouble you can play the simple pass and um, a lot of passes will be five and ten yards away from you but as soon as you switch the play the player that receives it the rest of your teammates predominantly are on the other side of the pitch so now have you got the ability to Either go 1v1 against the defender or hold up the play until you get support or be able to connect a potentially further pass because the rest of your teammates are further away from you because you just switched the play. Bravery, different type of bravery. Good quality there from Gus. What was the session? Yes. So we did the first bit really, really well. But what all of you are doing really well is you're maximizing the size of your third. Great. That's brilliant. That's what we want. Okay? Yeah. That's what we want set. But what ideally we really want is to take it off the back foot early and punch it through. Ready? Yes, yes, yes. I would prefer my team and my players to risk passing forward and lose the ball than play safe, go backwards, sideways, backwards, sideways. So right there, Babs is completely right. When you're looking to switch the play, you have to be aggressive in your intent to do it. You can't be, you can't turn it down. Once the, once the pass is on to play, the bravery inside you, the bravest players, the Kevin De Bruyne's of the world, will play that pass and try and hurt a team. But then there's other players in the world who will see the pass, not believe that in their ability to go and do it, and then just be safe and keep the ball. And eventually you lose the ball in your own half or in your own, own third and you end up conceding the goal because you turned down the forward pass. You might have kept your five yard pass or 10 yard pass, but your team just conceded because you turned down the bravery to go and uh, play that forward pass. But once that ball comes, can we punch it back? Identifying yeah. the right time. There he is. Perfect time. But can we be a bit braver to play? <laughs> Notice here that the oranges haven't gone in the middle. He's told me that they've had the best quality. Great pass from NASA. Another one from Gus. Oranges in the middle. 
So if you look here, we're in it. We're in a position right here where it's it's almost two v two in this little quadrant. So you have a blue here, and you've got a blue player on the ball, and two oranges pressing. Now it's about can you find a way to get out of this little tight area to then turn and play forward or switch the play. So there's sort of two sections to it. You can't switch the play from here because they're already pressing you. So you have to relieve the pressure via a dribble or via, via a good clever pass, five or 10 yards, who, who, and then that player then has the time to switch the play. Just like that, just on the money. You go back, you can see that. So the ball's congested in this area of the pitch, is 2v2. He can't play it. He tried to, you can see he's shaped to try it, but he can't play it because there's someone pressing him. But who can? Who can? Someone on the other side, right? Now that they're out of that tight pressure, this is a five, 10 yard pass, that sets it up for that pass there. Great touch there from Arnold. Again, again, you can see that. You can see it's tight. Receives the ball, tight in this area. Can you get out? There you go, get out. Then play the pass. Good, now getting success. So here we're transitioning into a functional practice. So within this functional practice, Babs has cut the pitch in half and we're just focusing on getting the ball from the central area out to the right. Because you don't have to switch from left to right it's a massive pass if you're playing on a big pitch. So often you want to try and come centrally to then play out wide. This zone, if you imagine this place, uh, this pitch has got the three zones, switching the play would be from zone one up to zone three. So the objective is can we get it out to Reynaldo? Reynaldo cannot be tackled, but we drive in and enter the box. Then we can go to tackle it. Then it's all in. Then we play like a normal game, a match. Oranges, if you win it, you don't have a left winger at the moment. That's your left winger. Okay, that's your number 11. Every time you win the ball, can you find that left winger? So you can stop them from doing that. Okay? Does that all make sense? Get it down, get it down, bro. Go, get it down, get it down. You're trying to move the ball. Good. Let's go. Two passes and we managed to get from central to out wide. It's a great cross. Someone got to get across the front post. So this is similar to what I was saying um, earlier. Once you do switch the play and you get it out here, bravery. Take his, he's taking his first touch forward. He's not gone backwards. He's taking responsibility and taking the cross instead of giving it to somebody else. Even here, the ball is in this area again. Take responsibility. Be positive. Be creative. Another great cross. Should finish that. Now within this, we're looking at the oranges. Can they try and replicate what the greens are trying to do? Switch the play. Great pass there. One nil to the defensive team. Good turn there from Keon. Good. So Babs is again spot on there. Now we're going, we're dragging the team one way and then selling, the, um, selling them a false sense of security in one way and then we're sending the pass back out the other side. And normally you're then left 1v1 and hopefully your wingers are capable of going past their fullback or you can get your overlapping fullback to make it an overload like Babs was talking about there. But ultimately, once you've shifted the ball one side, that is the time to go and switch it. It's not just switching it off the back, it's not switching it randomly, it's to move the ball one side and knowing that, okay, we're gonna shift them all this side and this time we're getting it out there. And when you get it out there and when you switch it, it has to be quickly and efficiently. Junior will come across here. 
again, that little, that little pass to relieve the pressure, to give the player, switching the player, time, so that the pass can be of quality. Boom, perfect. Now he's out there. Great little pass there. Great turn there from Patrick. Unlucky. That's what you want though in the box. You want to be active in the box. Good, so now we're switching it. Going out to the middle side of the pitch. Good. Now he's higher up the pitch. You can look here. The first time the winger received the ball. He is right there. The next time he receives the ball, he's in this area of the pitch, which is way more dangerous. So no, it's not realistic. I'm gonna turn back out. I'm gonna turn back out and just watch. We go out here, we shift them. Watch, here's one, two, three, four. Orange is shifting over. And now, he received the ball there. So you've gone from here to there. That's the difference. Now it's about quality. Trying to find a better cross there. Two, three. So let's really now utilize switching the play to attack and be dangerous in the box. Remember, this white line here. That's the magic white line. As soon as you cross that white line, does your percentage to score a goal go higher or hit the target go higher or lower? Higher. Yeah, any little touch in here now, is saves the defending for the oranges. So we really want to utilize that. Get numbers in the box, be a killer. Okay? So we are not on the pose. Right, we're now going to go out there. Now I want to see some nice little rotations between you guys. Oranges on the ball. Just patient, just patient. Almost inviting them to press on. Good skill there from Junior. That's a brilliant pass there. On one side, switch it back out the other side. Brilliant. It's just unlucky there with the touch. It's the right idea though. So now we're into games. I'm looking at where can we, where can we use this? Ring turn. Boom, there's a switch of play right there. Switching the point, switching the play is, I like to use the term switch the point of attack because switching the play doesn't always mean you're going into the final third or switching it to the winger. Sometimes you're just switching the point of attack. There you are, you just won the ball on the right hand side of the pitch as, as the white team here. Set on the ball. And now it's about, can you get out to another area of the pitch? Cause you've got one, two, three, four. Uh, oranges around the ball and it's 10 v 10 here into a midfield player to connect it from a central area brilliant right, skill good great good turn and right the other side and you can see there in this frame there's only two oranges in the frame none pressing the ball big difference there we are out to the winger here now can he be brave like i said a good bit of skill great strike into a central part of the pitch. Good. Can we get out to another part? Wide up, Kalonji, Kalonji Just came from up. there, but maybe could he take that on the back foot and turn out? All right, you, Keon. But it's a good pass in the end now. From a central area to a wide area. That's what we're All looking right. for. You win a corner. Again, it's tight down this side. Can we find somebody Yo. to get out? Look, look yeah, out yeah, yeah, don't yeah. switch to play. Uh. Yo, yeah, I said it's one of them ones Jogging till the bread comes Smiling through the hard days Came up off of breadcrumbs Working through the whole week I ain't had a rest once Tell me I should go sleep Maybe when the bread does You know it's one of them ones Feeling like I'm baby in this game It's my turn in the Yeah, we getting paid Trapping in this booth like money bitch But with no ace I never been a fan of Ruse But for my passion I'm a slave Different kind of chains But my freedom still ain't got me Shackles on my feet I'm spunny dancing I can't bobby Dissing with these females So that shorty you can't knock me up 
up before the morning, I get staying for no coffee. Chasing, wasting time in this place. It's kind of funny, I'm in a place where there's no time that I can waste. Build the riches to success, my hands look dirty, but I'm straight. I have to learn that if you're great, then plenty gonna hate. Living ledge, I need a payout. All them nights that I done stayed out, different sleeper, distant cousin. So on peril when I lay down, while me days are feeding bro, but f the T, I'd rather stay down. It's ironic that you're trapping just to find yourself a way out. Yeah, now I'm steady on this course. Every action has a purpose, there's direction when I walk. I speak my mind, it's worth a midi, ain't no penny for my thoughts. I'm making sure my eat, that's really food for your thought. From a young and I was taught to always know what people's stance is. Many come and go, there ain't much room for second chances. When energy ain't right, then their intentions being off hearted. Why you think I'm moving distant? I can't let them where my heart is. It's one of them ones, jogging till the bread comes. Smiling through the hard days, came up off of breadcrumbs. Working through the whole week, I ain't had a rest once. Told me I should go sleep. Maybe when the bread does, you know it's one of them ones. Jogging till the bread comes, smiling through the hard days. Came up off of breadcrumbs, working through the whole week. I ain't had a rest once. Tell me I should go sleep. Maybe when the bread does, you know it's one of them ones. He's attacking. Great, great possession of the game. So it's a bit scrappy right now, trying to keep the ball. Well, you can see there's a lot of players around the ball. So you're thinking, if he drops out to me, do I know my next pass? Yes, he does. Checks his shoulder twice. Very clever play. Have a look at him in the in the white bib with the yellow sleeves. I love you. Comes into the frame here, checks his shoulder just. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, yo, said it's one of them ones Jogging till the bread comes Smiling through the hard days Came up off of breadcrumbs Working through the whole week I ain't had a rest once Tell me I should go sleep Maybe when the bread does You know it's one of them ones Feeling like I'm baby in this game It's my turn in this sh Yeah, we getting paid Trapping in this booth like money, bitch But with no ace I never been a fan of ruse But for my passion, I'm a slave Different kind of chains But my freedom still ain't got me Shackles on my feet I'm funny dancing, I can't bobby Listen with these females So that's Shorty, you can't lock me up, you out before the morning I ain't staying for no coffee Chasing, wasting time in this place It's kind of funny I'm in the place But there's no time that I can waste Building riches to success, my hands look dirty But I'm straight, I had to learn that if you're great Then plenty gonna hate Living ledge, I need a payout All them nights that I done stayed out Different sleeper, distant cousin So I'm peril when I lay down While me days are feeding bro But the T, I'd rather stay down It's ironic that you're trapping Just to find yourself a way out Yeah, now I'm steady on this course Every action has a purpose There's direction when I walk I my mind is worth a mini, ain't no penny for my thoughts I'm making sure my eat, that's really food for your thought From a young and I was taught to always know what people's stance is Many come and go, there ain't much room for second chances When energy ain't right, then their intentions being off-hearted Why you Top session, really, really good session We're gonna have another Development Chamber episode 3 coming soon Make sure you like, comment and subscribe And until next time, I'm out of here Keep getting better, keep growing every single day